London's Leicester Square Theatre readies itself for the world premiere of one of the most exciting films to hit the big screen. Names like Richard Burton, Roger Moore, Richard Harris, and Hardy Kruger. The vast backdrop of Africa and a script that really is packed with action. All the ingredients for a cinematic sizzler. The Wild Geese. And attending the world charity premiere on behalf of the SOS, Stars Organization for Spastics, and the Variety Club of Great Britain, are the stars themselves. Persuasive Colonel Faulkner in the film, Richard Burton, and his wife Susie, are greeted by the producer of The Wild Geese, Ewan Lloyd. There aren't many heroes in The Wild Geese, but the smoothest of baddies is swashbuckling Stuart Granger. Sir John and Lady Mills. Hardy Kruger, one of the wild geese. Comedian Ernie Wise. Stars of the film, John Carney and Winston and Shona. Patrick Allen and actress wife, Sarah Lawson. The director of the film, Andrew McLaglin. Jack Watson, who plays the tough RSM with Paul Spurrier, Richard Harris's film son, Emil, and the feminine lead, Ewan Lloyd's daughter, Rosalind. TV star Joanna Lumley of the Avengers series. Lee Lawson and Haley Mills. Lending royal patronage to the occasion, Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Kent. The Honourable Mrs. James Ogilvy, President of the Stars Organisation for Spastics, welcomes Her Royal Highness. Edmund Chilton, Chairman of Rank Leisure Services. Adding Sir John Mills to her autograph collection, handicapped Debbie Sherrington. A great deal of effort went into gathering together of so many stars for this glittering premiere. But with the cause a worthy one, and the occasion right, the film industry rallies as always. Her Royal Highness has introduced to Trevor Shin, Chief Barker of the Variety Club, Nat Cohen and other members of the Charity Premier Committee. Since it was founded, the Variety Club has raised over £20 million for a wide range of charitable institutions which care for the deprived, the sick and the underprivileged. The considerable proceeds from tonight's premiere will bring much needed help to the spastic children of Britain. Whilst talking to the stars of the film, Her Royal Highness touches on the tremendous drive that has always been a feature of Variety Club charitable activity. There's a touching interlude when 14-year-old Debbie Sherrington, herself a spastic, welcomes the Duchess of Kent on behalf of her fellow sufferers throughout Britain. Rumbustious wild geese. Perfect gentlemen now, but for the next two hours, hard-living, hard-fighting old Africa hands as the world premiere rolls into action. Sad are the eyes, yet no tears. The flood of the wild geese brings a new hope. Rescue from all this. When the film ends, the Dorchester Hotel is the setting for a special supper party. Director Andrew McLaglin, well pleased with an undoubted smash hit. Hardy Kruger and Anita Parks. Colonel Stuart Granger. No stranger to world premieres, film chief Sir John Davis with Ewan Lloyd.
Winston and Shona and John Carney, delighted with the film message of reconciliation in Africa. Even the Dorchester hasn't seen such a star-spangled gathering like this for a long, long time. Joseph Cotton and Patricia Medina. The indestructible Jack Watson. Names and faces to keep a film fan happy for years. Roy Budd composed the music for the film. A star in his own right, Joe Loss, sets the party going. Every year, the Variety Club provides assistance for an average of 600 organizations on a national, regional, local, even private level. Its work for societies like the Stars Organization for Spastics brings benefit to an estimated half million children. With the wild geese on the road and a pronounced success, established stars secure in their firmament, new ones heading for greater things, it's been a night to remember. And this all made possible by the generous support of the Ambassador International Cultural Foundation of Pasadena, California.